Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's December 2nd, 2022. We're in the New Testament, and we are in the book of 1 John, and we're going to read chapter 1, verse 1, to chapter 2, verse 6. So this is a letter written by John the Apostle. Uh, we know that it was written by John because, because it is very similar very similar to what we just read in, in the Gospel of John. Uh, see, John was the only apostle that wasn't martyred, so he lived a really long life. He had lots of followers and lots of people that he taught, so none of the people in the, in the second century, which was the generation right after him, thought that anyone else wrote this, so they, they probably received it right from John. If they were satisfied, John wrote this. I'm satisfied, John wrote this. And, and again, as you read it, you see lots of similarities. He talks about the same things, that relationship with Jesus, right? Relationship with God. It's all about love. Uh, it's all about the humanity and the deity of Jesus. And again, he, in this letter, he's writing about that. And he's also writing about a group of people that have, that have seemed to come up. They want to want to break the church apart and they want to argue that well Jesus was never really a man uh, and and he didn't really have to die for our sins and, and John is saying no that's not true that's not the Jesus I know that's not what you were told that's not what I'm telling you and here's I'm, I'm gonna write it down for you and, and hand it out so you know so we're gonna see a very similar start to this letter as his gospel uh, talking about the word the word is life God is light and, and Christ is, is our helper. If we follow him and, and follow his example, we're on the right path. If someone's telling us to do something wrong, well, they're a false teacher. Don't listen to them anymore. So let's go ahead and we're going to read the letter of 1 John chapter 1, verse 1 to 2, 6. We write to you about the word of life, which has existed from the very beginning. We have heard it and we have seen it with our eyes. Yes, we have seen it and our hands have touched it. When this life became visible, we saw it. So we speak of it and tell you about the eternal life which was with the Father and was made known to us. What we have seen and heard we announce to you also so that you will join with us in the fellowship that we have with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We write this in order that you... And we write this in order that our joy, joy may be complete. Sorry. <clears throat> now the message that we have heard from his son and announced to this, God is light and there is no darkness at all in him. If then we say that we have fellowship with him, yet at the same time live in the darkness, we are lying both in our words and in our actions. But if we live in the light, just as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from every sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and there is no truth in us. But if we confess our sins to God, he will keep his promise and do what is right. He will forgive us our sins and purify us from all our wrongdoings. If we say that we have not sinned, we make a liar out of God, and his word is not in us. I am writing this to you, my children, so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have someone who pleads with the Father on our behalf, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. And Christ himself is the means by which our sins are forgiven, and not our sins only, but also the sins of everyone. If we obey God's commands, then we are sure that we know him. If someone says that he knows him but does not obey his commands, such a person is a liar and there is no truth in him. But whoever obeys his word is the one whose love for God has really been made perfect. This is how we can be sure that we are in union with God. Whoever says that he remains in union with God should live just as Jesus Christ did. May God bless the reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.